Hi, I must believe you have hosted a front-end application on S3 bucket as a static web hosting and you are facing 403 forbidden access drag error in your application. So I will show you a little bit of a solution. It works in probably most of the cases until unless you have made some routing errors in your front-end or back-end application or you have some uh, error in your cross origins. Okay, course. So let's go to the demo. So here you can see my static web hosting has been hosted. My over here on S3 bucket, I've added the files, and now you can see my static website is here. So I will just try to click on login. I will put my username and password, and I will click on login. And you can say I'm getting 403 forbidden code access denied error. Okay, so I will just close it. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to set this permission to public. So you have to go to permissions, go to your bucket policy, click on edit, and you have to paste your policy over here. Just keep it like this. Okay. Here is your digital S3, digital book frontend bucket R. You, you will just replace this part from here only. I will just copy it and I will replace it. I will save my changes. Let's copy it again. Okay, you can see it's been repeated over here. So I will remove the front part and I will save it. Okay, now you can see here you will see that publicly accessible will come up. Okay, now I will go to my properties and access is publicly. You have to keep your uh, access level to public. Now I will go to my static web hosting. Okay, and I will just make a small bit of a change over here. In index.html is your index document. You have to put your error document as also index.html. If you have created an error document, you can put that also over there. Type on save changes. And you can see that now it's working. So this is the change you have to do in your, in your S3 bucket to make routing to other pages available for a single page applications or for a multiple page applications. Okay.